Hi, this is Bill from Sparky Channel. Here are three enclosures from a scene from my video about the ideal national championship finals from Nashville. There has been quite a bit of discussion about which of the three enclosure or enclosures is where the grounded conductor and the equipment grounding conductor are bonded. In plain English, in which enclosure are the neutral and the ground bonded together and in which enclosure or enclosures are the neutral and ground kept separate? First, before I crack open the code book, I'll identify the three enclosures. This one is a mill bank, made in the USA by the way, exterior, four terminal, small closing plate, 200 amp main breaker. In plain English, that means that this is a meter enclosure. Service entrance cables can enter it either from the top or from the bottom. There is a main breaker right here with which the fire department can open this little door and shut off the power to the house. This is a Siemens 200 amp 30 space main lug indoor load center with copper bus. Main lug only load centers are typically applied downstream of a main circuit breaker panel and they can be used as a sub panel. For main lug only load centers, the incoming cables are terminated on the line side of the lugs that are attached directly to the bus. No main overcurrent device exists within a main lug only load center. From now on, I'll call this panel the MLO, which stands for main lug only. The MLO has dual neutral bars and two ground bars. The neutral bars and the ground bars are separate unless this green bonding screw is screwed all the way in. The model comes with the green bonding screw only partly screwed in, so in this case, the neutrals and the grounds are still separate even though there is a green bonding screw in place but not screwed in. This enclosure is a Kohler automatic transfer switch. Its function is to keep power flowing to the MLO even if the power from the utility is disrupted. It's part of a package which includes a Kohler backup generator. It has a separate ground bar and a separate neutral bar. Here we are at NEC 2020-250.24B, main bonding jumper. For a grounded system, an unspliced main bonding jumper shall be used to connect the equipment grounding conductor or conductors and the service disconnect enclosure to the grounded conductor within the enclosure for each service disconnect in accordance with 250.28. So it says uh, for a grounded system, this is a grounded system, an unspliced main bonding jumper, that's this right here. It goes from the neutral to the EGC. See this metal right here? And that's your main bonding jumper. And it shall be used to connect the equipment grounding conductors and the service disconnect enclosure. See, this is connected to the enclosure, to the grounded conductor. So you got the enclosure, you got the EGC, you got the grounded conductor. They're all connected together now here at this enclosure. So now we know that within the meter service disconnect, the grounded neutral must be bonded to the equipment grounding conductor. The two enclosures beyond the meter service disconnect can be said to be on the load side of the service disconnecting means. So let's look at 2020 NEC 250.24 A5, load side grounding connections. A grounded conductor shall not be connected to normally non-current carrying metal parts of equipment to equipment grounding conductor or conductors or be reconnected to ground on the load side of the service disconnecting means except as otherwise permitted in this article. So within these two enclosures the grounded conductor must never be allowed to touch the enclosure 
or the equipment grounding conductor. Now we're ready to answer the original question. In this enclosure, the grounded conductor must be bonded with the equipment grounding conductor and the enclosure itself. And in these two enclosures, the grounded conductor must never touch the equipment grounding conductor or the enclosure. I hope you got that right. And I hope that even if you are a pro, that it was a good brush up for you. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.